What if a single dream could alter the course of history? This was the dilemma faced by Pilate's wife, haunted by a vision. In the Gospel of Matthew, a mysterious moment unfolds during the trial of Jesus. As the Roman governor Pontius Pilate prepares to judge him, his wife is struck by a powerful, unsettling dream. In the middle of the night, she's shaken by a vision of Jesus, filled with an overwhelming sense of his innocence and purity. This was no ordinary dream. She feels physically and emotionally tormented by it, haunted by a fear she cannot shake. The next morning, as Jesus stands trial, Pilate's wife sends him a message. Urgently, she tells him, Have nothing to do with that righteous man, for I have suffered much because of him in a dream. Her plea is clear. This man should not be condemned. In that moment, Pilate is torn. On one hand, he feels pressured by the crowd, demanding Jesus' crucifixion. On the other, his wife's haunting warning lingers. This dream might be more than a personal nightmare. It could be a divine message about Jesus' innocence. But in the end, Pilate makes a choice. Ignoring his wife's plea, he washes his hands, symbolically distancing himself from the fate of Jesus, and delivers him to the crowd for crucifixion. Pilate's wife's dream stands as a mysterious, haunting moment, a final plea that hints at Jesus' innocence and the spiritual gravity of his trial. What if Pilate had listened 